Well, hey, hey there, folks and fellow YouTubers. It's your best buddy here, Nuclear Scality 7. Welcome to part 10 of my restarted walkthrough for Doom 2 Hell on Earth. This is the MS DOS version of the original game played through Steam on the Hurt Me Plenty difficulty setting. This is a 100% walkthrough. Okay, so I'm going to unpause the game and start playing. So over here is a secret door. No, it's not a secret area per se, but it does have some useful items, including these three health bonuses plus ammo for the shotgun. So be sure to do that if it if you're doing a 100% walkthrough, because though that room has health bonuses. Okay, so I'm gonna go over there, shoot that enemy with just my shotgun. Just gonna stick with a normal shotgun for a little bit. Yeah, and then I'll start going to the double barrel, which is one of my favorite weapons in the game. Yeah, that's kill two birds with one stone there. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here just to take out some of the enemies. Is that you trying to shoot me more? Of course it was. Oh, yeah. I just love gib kills. It doesn't matter whether it's via a rocket launcher or even an explosive barrel. I just love them. And you could die up there. Same with you, zombie. Man. Okay, so now that I've cleared this area of enemies, I'm gonna go here. And you'll find out why. Be sure to grab the health and armor bonuses present in this room. Including these two. Watch out for some enemies in the next room. In fact, I'll take care of them just so they're not a problem. Okay, so now that I've got everything done that I've needed to in this room, I'm gonna lower this platform as there will be not one, but two specters. They're both dead as a doornail. Nope, this is not a secret area, in case you're wondering. Gun down that shotgunner there. <clears throat> Close that zombie man. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ready my BFG 9000 because the door will open, revealing a and element. Okay, so in order to go back there, you have to open it. And this is a secret area, so we need to go in there quickly. Just enough to take it as a secret area. So I'm going to go through here, this area, and go to the other one. But I'm going to ready again my BFG 9000. Because again, a pain element will emerge from that platform over there. <laughs> Okay, so now that all the enemies, for right now at least, are dead in this room, I'm going to go back here. Because over there is another secret area. Want to get in there just long enough to take it as said secret area. Okay. So I'm going to go over here, just so I can take out the enemies in that next room over there. Adjacent to this hallway or corridor. Including those lost souls. Die thinking. We'll just let them kill each other. Until one of them's dead. Just... There we go. That way, by letting enemies fight each other, you can save and conserve ammunition. Now, there's a secret room we can go here in this door, but we will do that a bit later, and you'll find out why. Now, ready a rocket launcher. Oops, because here is a revenant. Ah, he got me, that little squirt. Now, watch out, because so I'm going to use my double barrel shotgun to kill both imps. Kill two birds with one stone, as I like to say. So, for this next room, I'm going to go ahead and ready a plasma gun. No, I'll just use a double barrel wasn't the room I was thinking of, my bad. Just be careful about, don't make the mistake of running into the fireballs from the imp the bear was dead. Not that I actually ended up doing that still. Okay, so they're all dead as a doornail. We've cleared up this room of enemies. 
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go here. Except that's not the room I wanted to go to. Okay, so. So this is the reason I'm ready my plasma gun. Because in this next room, it's an arachnotron, in case you didn't notice. Okay, go back to the double barrel shotgun and use it to kill the imps. Plus, there's another secret lot area in that next room here. You'll find out soon enough. I just want to kill the enemies in this world first. Just so they're not a problem. Oops. He wasn't there the way I thought he was. We'll go to that room with the UAC door on it in a little bit. Ah, light amplification visor. It's about time I had that. So this here, okay, so I'm gonna use my chain gun because they're a little ammo shotgun, both normal and super. Okay, so I'm gonna notice this section of wall with the cracks on it. You can open it because it is a secret area. Also, of course, grab all these armor bonuses. I think this may be another one. Yes, this is another secret area of the entire map. I'm gonna go ahead and ready my BFG 9000. Because there will be a few revenants plus an arachnotron. I'll just use a plasma. Ah, yes. Die, arachno. He's dead as a doornail, of course. Do the same with this gentleman here. He's gonna do a little peekaboo shots and then take cover behind walls. <coughs> Just to avoid being hit or taking damage. He's dead as a doornail. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here just to grab some ammo. Notice that blue gadget on top of the ceiling there. Just walk through it because it will activate a trap filled with pinky demons. This is again a 100% walkthrough. He's dead as a doornail. Be sure to grab the goodies here if you should need them anyway. Plus some ammo for the BFG 9000. Okay, so. Before we find another secret area, we're gonna snatch the blue key here. Now, here's another secret area with all the armor bonuses in this room. Now, this next room is filled with secret areas, and you'll see how that works. I'm just gonna gun down all the enemies here. Because I'm not going to show you the secret areas until all the enemies are dead in this room. They're dead as a door now. You try to shoot me, boy? Grab that yellow key before you forget to on accident. Oh! Take out the chain gun first, if I can find him, that is. There he is! Alright. Okay, so this is another secret area. Plus it has light amplification. Okay, so notice these little alcoves that have just multiple UAC logos on them. But then now you will also notice how there's one that has only one UAC logo. Those are the areas that have secret areas in them. So you wanna get those. So I'll show you that just so it's a little extra clear. So notice how they all mostly have multiple UAC logos, but notice how this one only has one. All of those are where the secret areas are located. But in order to open it, use a chainsaw. Ooh, I really needed that. As Duke Nukem himself would say. Die, boy. <clears throat> Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to open this up. This is the secret area we've explored already. This is another secret area. But watch out for a mob of pinky demons awaiting your arrival. So we will go through this area in a little bit, and you'll see how that manifests. First, let's make sure there isn't any other secret areas we forgot here. This is another one. So again, the alcoves that have just the one big UAC logo on it versus these that have just the multiple UAC logos are all where the secret areas are located. Just thought, again, that'd be important to recognize. So if you want to find all the secret areas in this one room, it's always in the ones that have just the one big UAC logo on them. This is another secret area. do that for some reason. Okay, so there's nothing else for us to do in here for the, right now, at least. Just except to make sure there's any other secret areas I may have missed. It's doubtful, but always good to check. Alright. Alright, didn't think so, but thought I'd check. So you'll notice how something unexpected happens, and you'll also notice why I'm ready my BFG 9000. Because you'll notice when I go through there, it not only is a teleporter, but also another secret area. So this is why I ready my BFG 9000. Try to shoot him as quickly as you can and be sure to grab that other invulnerability. Because it doesn't last very long. He's already gone. Just use a simple sh double barrel to kill this Emperor. He's done as a doornail. So again, when you get to this part, make sure to not only grab those two invulnerabilities, but to also take out the Cyber Demon as quickly as you can with the BFG 9000. Because as you can see here, it doesn't last too, too terribly long. Okay, so we've got nothing else to do there. All right, so we've already cleared this area of enemies before, so we don't need to worry about them as such. <coughs> okay. So this is, there's another secret area in this room we haven't discovered yet, and it's again this one with the UAC logo, except let's find this other non-secret area first. Activate the switch and then quickly get under here to grab the supercharge. Again, no, it's not a secret area, but it does have some useful items. So I'm going to go ahead and ready my rocket launcher, because when I open the door with the UAC logo, there's not one, but several imps awaiting my arrival. Oops. So I like to use the rocket launcher to take out the imps up there, including the ones over there. Yeah! So this is a secret area, the one I just got on, as well as this one. They're all secret areas. Be sure to grab the ammo for the rocket launcher, should you need it at least. Okay. Alright. So there's officially nothing we need to do in this room right now. Now we've got about two more secret areas I believe we need to find. go there because that leads to the exit in a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and ready my rocket launcher because these areas will open up with enemies because they're traps. Not only that, secret areas as well. Unfortunately, in order for them to open, we have to go back to the door with the UAC logo. And quickly grab the rat suit in order to tag the secret area so you can do it without taking damage from the new cage. So we'll do that again so that this time we can go over here. Okay, so there's a reason that I didn't want to go to this area yet. Because we have to cross new cage to get to this next secret area. So that's why I saved the rat suit for that last area. So go over here, because not only does it have a Mega Sphere, but it's also another several different secret areas rolled into one. Once that's done, be sure to 
get back to dry land. So that way, you can easily get there once your rad suit begins to expire. So, once you see it blinking and expiring, be sure to get back to dry land for safety. Because, yes, the new kids will drain your health. And that's never a good thing, as Big Mac Davis would say. One of my friends and fellow YouTubers. Okay, so this is the end of the level. That is where we killed the mighty Cyber Demon with our BFG 9000 weapon. This is the exit. Refueling base finished. Kills? 100%. Items? 100%. Secrets? 100%. Well, what can I say? I absolutely love this level. This is not only one of my favorite levels in the entire game, but just in the whole of the Doom franchise. Period. Sort of like the last level, the pit before it, it may seem big and sprawling, but once you get the lay of the land with it, you start to know it again, like the palm of your hand. And I really enjoy this level, at least in my opinion, <clears throat> that's the case. I know other people, of course, may beg to differ, but hey, I love this. And I'll just make a quick little announcement there, folks, before I end the video here. Well, just want to say it might be a bit before I'm able to do ambient videos, because I've been having this weird technical issue where I've been unable to use the desktop audio on my OBS studio separately and independently from my microphone auxiliary audio so but i'm sure it's just a stupid simple fix but and as soon as that's fixed i'm gonna record my next ambient video well there folks i believe that shall end part 10 of my restarted 100 percent doom 2 hell on earth walkthrough remember if you like this video please hit that like button below and if you want to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button below i will see you all and I see you all in the next video, folks. Until then, though, I am Nuclear Scholar 87. You all treat each other with wonderfulness and respect.